Daddy? Should we call Corey Daddy? Should we call Corey Daddy? Should we call Corey Daddy? <laughs> Is that just an Should AI voice? Should we call voice? Corey Daddy? Should we AI? call Corey okay. Daddy? Can you stop? Is that an AI voice or is that you? <laughs> Should we call Corey Daddy? It's <laughs> creepy. Should we call Corey Daddy? No. Ew. I'm going to turn off your channel if you don't stop it, young Sorry, man. Sorry, goodbye. Uh, 56 degrees right now. Good morning. It's uh, Thursday. We're going to see some rain in the forecast today. Pete's full forecast. Uh, details right around the corner. We get to go crash a concession yes, tonight. Yes, yes, yes. It's outside, right? Football's not played inside. Well, correct. Okay, cool. We will be indoors inside of a um, concession stand, though. Yeah. One of these times, and I keep saying it, we're going to Brilliant. The next crash your concession I want to sing the national anthem. I don't care. I'm going on the field. I'm rushing the field. We're going streaking into the gymnasium. (laughs) Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, here to sing the national anthem naked, it's Huggy. Oh, say can you see? (laughs) How would you sing it? I would probably scream a little. Would you? Yeah. By the dawn, early light. I don't know how I'd sing it. I have to practice. I don't know the words. <laughs> I was going to say, go, sing it right now. You would screw it up. I know I would. And then all the, of the true Americans in Northeast Wisconsin. They wouldn't be happy. Mm-mm-mm. Who's this punk? <laughs> Who's this punk? You know, can I bring up something real quick? Speaking sure. of punks, uh-huh. yesterday we were, you know, we always show prep our shows. Really good prep, <laughs> prep for our shows. Me and Atlas, uh, Natalie's six-year-old son, we're going back and forth, trading some zingers. And guess what zinger he said? Yeah, he pretty much mic dropped and walked away when he hit, when he hit that one. Yeah. He said, Blink-182 sucks. <laughs> and then dipped. I was like, Whoa. I didn't have anything to say. I yeah. thought about it all night. You know what it was? It was like an eight mile when Eminem just, mm-hmm. <laughs> he can't come back from, nope. from that one. He just, you don't even have anything nope. else to say. He, You're done. He put the cherry on top of the ice cream and I melted. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, Except he didn't say blink. He said blink. Don't make fun of him. Oh, he's, no, it's so funny. He's he got said the, blink. He's got the cutest little lisp or the cutest little like uh, I don't know. Just the way he pronounces words is so funny. Uh, right now. Speech impediment. Yes, I wasn't gonna say it, but blink one eighty two. No, he he said blink funny though. It was cute. <laughs> it was really cute. I, I, I just sit and smile every time. How he did he know that? I liked that band. Because I've told him. And mommy went to go see that band. <laughs> That's pretty funny. This is awkward right now, guys. So yeah, why? <laughs> because you're staring at me with those <laughs> Smeagol eyes right now. Smeagol, <laughs> my precious, my precious. <laughs> I am. A, I'm feeling a little Smeagol today. Yeah. Yeah, you're really mellow today. <laughs> Very mellow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, which one do you like, the mellow or the not mellow? We'll take the mellow right now. We know. Yeah, that mellow that now. Coming. Yeah, we'll get this to good later. Yesterday she was wild. She cried four times. She, <laughs> she was happy for about twenty minutes. She would cry. She was happy. For the about zoomies 20. happen at around seven a.m. There okay. was a, a rumor going around online about something that Amazon was supposedly banning their drivers from doing. That creates some controversy online. Okay, well, crying. We'll, we'll tell you <laughs> no, no crying while dropping off packages. That that might be in the rule book. Um, we'll have that for you coming up about 517. It's 517 right now. We'll have that before 530. Uh, $1,000 minute. You can play along at 605, 705, and 805 this morning here on WIXX. Should we call Corey Daddy? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> and we'll just uh, get into the commercial. 101 WIXX. Are you tired of being tired? Natalie and Corey. Thanks, Pete. 50 Six right now, 521 with Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars. 101 WIXX, as Billboard named that the song of the summer Her. officially. That is Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. I had some help on WIXX. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. So if you were listening to WIXX around 6 o'clock yesterday, you heard some Tur- Hurling Clark Law Firm traffic alerts, and Highway 41 was shut down in Fond du Lac for a while because there was a semi-truck that went up in flames. Oh, geez. 42,000 pounds of pecans. Pecans. Like pecans. pecans. <laughs> However you want to pronounce like it. Like nuts? Nuts. That, that's Oven what... flames. I know. I felt bad. I was like, man, all those <laughs> all those nuts going. Good? Yeah, what did it smell like? Probably pecan pie, right? Yeah. Mm. Chestnuts roasting on well, an open fire. that's chestnuts, not oh. pecans. Pecans roasting on <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Hey, uh, so unrelated... But um, we have a lot of delivery drivers that listen. And if you drive for Amazon, there was a rumor going around that they were going to ban something from uh, drivers doing. Okay. 
Break it down for us, Core. So inside each Amazon vehicle is a camera. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're watching you the whole time, and they do it for safety. Oh man, it's like, like a, picking your nose, yep, scratching your bum. Uh huh. Oh man. Well, they say that uh, there was rumor going around that Amazon was going to ban their delivery drivers from singing along with the radio because it was unsafe. Is it? I don't- Jeff Bezos, take a hike. Well, he, he's not really in charge. Anymore. I don't think he's in charge of the delivery thing. <laughs> no, well, he, I know. He's, he's not even in charge of Amazon anymore. Um, but uh, <laughs> way to go, Natalie. <laughs> okay. Donk. No, but 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 they issued a statement that's saying that it's completely inaccurate. Amazon has never issued guidance or communication that prohibits singing in the vehicle, which I think is kind of funny in itself that they had to issue an official, yeah. like like press release about that. But what if it was what? true? Because. Like one person from Amazon is scheduled to watch one person delivering, right? And they have to watch the camera and listen. <laughs> they have to listen to them sing. Each driver is assigned day. another person. <laughs> Can you imagine just like, shut up. Especially You're just watching it's the camera. It's oh like, my whoa. God. There's just like one dude in like a security room, kind of like Bobby's news closet. And he's just got to watch these cameras. And if they're belting out Adele, everyone's singing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's singing. <laughs> and it's, they're trying so hard not to, but they're Lips are just kind of moving. Yep. Hello, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wow. Can you imagine if there was a camera inside your vehicle? Oh, <laughs> you know how I get down. Yeah. Yo, know, and it's it's loud. I wonder if it picks up the sound too. And I know that they have cameras in there to like make sure that they're delivering on time. Yeah, I'm being safe. Like I think yeah. there's a lot of reasons why they do it, but um, again, not accurate. They're not going to uh, prohibit you from singing if you're an Amazon driver, which is probably a good thing. Have you ever pulled up to a stoplight, though? And you're yes. just belting it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the person next to you happening. looks to you and, like, I do it every time I play. If you're not playing air drums in your car to a song, do you even like music? I did see a homie of the show and I was turning. I was turning off of Velp onto Ashland. Okay? okay. And I was getting after it, dudes. You were just, jo- what were you rocking out to? Oh, probably Hot Moly. Hot yeah. Mulligan or Mayday or something like that. And I turned the corner and I made eye contact with this guy. And I was like going in and he worked at the flower shop that I bought your corsage from Aww. Uh, That we, when we went to the adult prom. And yeah. he was like, singing any good songs lately? <laughs> and you were like, wait, oh, did you recognize him? <laughs> oh, I didn't, but he did. He's like, yeah. remember when you turned on to Ashland a couple weeks ago and you're just getting <laughs> after it? Yeah, so that's funny. I like yeah, that. That, that is, is awesome. So uh, Amazon drivers, if that's you... Feel free to continue to do that because uh, they're going to allow you to do that. Good thing. 532 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. And Kygo with One Republic now on WIXX. Megan Trainer, whoops, it's 537. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey waking you up on WIXX 56 right now. It's going to be 77 today, but probably some rain by this afternoon. A couple of high school football games going on tonight, more than a couple. Uh, quite a few high school football games going on tonight since the Packers game is tomorrow night. One of them will be at Brillian and Chilton. If you're going to be in the area, uh, swing by, say hi to us in the concession stand. We'll be crashing it thanks to Builders First Source and WIXX. Um, think about this. Okay, short work week here, but maybe you're just so fed up with your job, you want to quit. Mm-hmm. You want to walk out, you just want to quit, but you don't have the guts to actually do it because it involves confrontation. Well, now the solution is here, as there are some companies that are popping up, and it started in Japan, that will quit your job for you. Is that even legal? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Corey? Text me the number. <laughs> come on now. Yeah. What's the number? Yeah, come on, Corey. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, so, well, have you ever quit a job? Boy, have I? I don't know. I don't know. Like, like well, a guy I mean, that would I've quit. had to quit job. You know, like you have to quit jobs. Like in high school, I had my Hardy's job, um, and I quit it because I got a better job. So I guess I quit that job. I mean, but that's the fast food. Like the turnover is high in that industry. It wasn't that big of a deal. Had to quit the, the job I went to then because I went to college. Right. I don't know if I've ever quit a job other than that, though. Like angrily, not at all. No, you're not like that guy. No. Have you ever gotten fired? No. No. Shocker. Have you? Yeah. Well, of course. Have you met her? <laughs> <laughs> Only once. It was from my first ever job when I was 14. Doing what? I was working at Culver's. Oh, oh yeah. With your boyfriend at the time. Yeah. Oh, you were making out. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. You told us that. Come on, weren't you? <laughs> we're making out at the back of the buns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, no. That was her 16-year-old job. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> yeah, getting them all mixed up. Yeah, was my 16-year-old job, Corey, <laughs> as a lifeguard. Fi- what did you get fired from Culver's for? Okay, well, long story 
kind of short. My boyfriend at the time was working with me. Said boyfriend broke up with me. New boyfriend came <laughs> into golf. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they just started, you know. They started fighting and you were just standing Arguing there. and I was like, who wants custard? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what one of the guys said. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, somehow I got rubbed into it. I didn't do anything. I didn't ask them to do that. They just... You know, small man egos. So basically what happened was your boss saw that and said, we don't need this drama. <laughs> and I said, why? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Sit back and watch. <laughs> I have to say that this is a, this is, this one is near and dear to my heart. And so I had to clean out this garage one time and I was so fed up with it because I had to pick up these poop boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Threw one of these poop boxes what's down. Poop, what's a poop box? Okay, my dad is uh, owns a roofing contracting company, and for some reason, the dude would take these boxes of caulk because they come in twelve packs. Yeah, and he would hover over him with his butt cheeks, walked on in on him a couple times, and he would just poop in these boxes and use Wendy's napkins to wipe. Why? Why? Why would he do that? Because he just didn't want to take the time to go inside because he was too busy. Well, it was just a garage. So I don't know. Like there's it was, no bathroom. There's no bathroom. So yeah. you just use the floor as a bathroom. So I was cleaning and I was like, I told you. I want to go. I told you, Dad. <laughs> to, <laughs> to stop pooping these boxes. You're making me clean this. And I was like, it smells your dookie. <laughs> Does like, he still do that? I don't think so. I don't. I think. Well, after, probably not now after you talk about it on the radio all the time. Oh, yeah. He told, he asked me not to do that and not refer to my last name as Fartson. <laughs> 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 so I quit that job. Sorry, Dad. See ya. <laughs> See ya. I, I think it's interesting that so many people are so afraid of confrontation, though, when it comes to this. You know, like, like this is why this company emerges. They'll call your employer. You, they'll uh, tell them that you're leaving and even handle the details like your last day and how to return company-owned equipment. Well, d- is that in America right now? No reason. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's two to $300 it would, it would cost you to do, which I suppose if you're leaving the job for a job you got to raise on and you really hate. I don't know. Confrontation's half the fun, you know? Right. There's crying. I agree. There's yelling. There's there's moments where you guys love each other and then you're like, I hate you. I, I don't want to give you back my key card wrapper, Corey. Yeah. Mine. Did you hear about the Vikings former coach? This this ties in. Mike Zimmer coached the Vikings for a few years and he ended up getting fired along with the GM. This is probably three years ago. They kind of did an overhaul with the Vikings anyway. Um, when he got fired, whoever fired him was like, hey, do you want to go address the team, right? I mean, it's these guys that he's been coaching for seven or eight years. Right, right. And his response was, hell no, they're the ones that got me fired. And he never addressed the team. I like, mean, not what, wrong. But what a jerk, though. Like, yeah. you're a leader. You're how, long, to, how long was he a coach, the coach I, for? Uh, five to seven years. Like, oh, he that, was there a while. That's a bond. I know, I know. Mm. And not, well, now we're hearing stories that, like, none of the players liked him, so that's probably why he, and he probably knew that deep down. Oh, so. yeah. Bitter. I mean, yeah. they're big football player dudes, so yeah. look yeah. out. He's just a little guy. <laughs> All right, 542, it's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey here on WIXX. How um, someone sits on the couch. I want you to think about how you sit on the couch. Okay, when you sit on the couch, um, that could reveal a lot about your personality, and we'll go over what these different couch poses might mean for your personality here before six o'clock. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey are on one hundred and one WIA. Eminem and Houdini at five fifty one. It's Huggy and Natalie and Corey WIXX and streaming on the WIXX app. Fifty six right now. High of seventy seven. Some rain in the forecast today. Okay, there's this new, um, I guess, survey that's done or a new study that was done by a psychologist that says the way you sit on a couch can determine your personality. So I'm going to give you these five, and then I'm going to predict which ones each of you. Okay. Because okay. I don't think I've ever actually seen either of you sit on a couch. No. Well, no. 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 I don't no. think so. Or okay. sleeping, Weird. by the way. Weirdo. <laughs> I don't think I've ever Well, you guys saw me fall asleep on a couch Every once. time. Oh, well, yeah. Every back, in the back seat. Um, yeah. <laughs> pillow, okay, number one is pillow hugger. Mm-hmm. Number two is crisscross. What do you mean crisscross? Yeah, what do you mean crisscross? Uh, crisscross applesauce. Like, like sitting on a couch with your legs oh. crisscross, okay? <laughs> uh, lounging back okay. is one of them. Sitting curl, like you're kind of curled up in a in a little bit of a side ball, I guess. Mm-hmm. And the stool rester, in other words, you sit with your feet out on a you know something in front of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna guess, Natalie. I'm gonna guess you're a pillow hugger. No, 
You're not? not? I would have guessed that too. Uh-uh. I'm the last three. Which one do you do more, though? Do you lounge back? Do you sit curled? Or do you rest on a stool? I, you got that comfortable couch. I though. know. My couch is so mm-hmm. comfy. I lounge back and put my feet up. Okay. That means that you are comfortable taking up extra space and enjoying your comfort. Whatever that means. Yeah. Girl rotting. Yeah. <laughs> See, a pillow hugger is a telltale sign of an... In- <laughs> That's why she's girl around here. There is a telltale sign of an introvert if you're a pillow hugger. And I thought that would be you because I know that even though you're on the radio every day, you also get social anxiety and around people. So you're kind of introverted. Yeah, but my house is such a safe space that okay. I'm, I'm good. She's, that's yep. where she gets the zoomies. <laughs> I'm like a cat alone. They, they, yeah. say, they say if you hug a pillow consistently on a couch, it may be a way to cover up your shyness or your self-conscious about a certain behavior of yours. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you don't you don't pillow hug, but those of you who do, what are you hiding? <laughs> Huggy, I like, to, I like to cover up my my body sometimes. All right, go for it. Um, but I don't know. You're never gonna guess. Only five uh, choices. I'm gonna guess. Curler. Yeah, I'm gonna guess sitting curled on my couch. My yeah. couch isn't that comfortable to be able to curl. I'll give you one more guess. That's not it. Okay, mm-hmm. then you're definitely crisscross applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do not sit crisp. No. Can you imagine you walk in and Huggy's like. Mm, hello. <laughs> He's sitting straight up with his legs crossed. Sometimes I do that, but I am the lounger. So oh, I, you're I, lounging back. Yeah, because I have a I have a recliner couch. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. I pass out pretty quickly. So I la- I just kind of lay there with my arms up, stinks at my side. Because I can't really sit anywhere else other than lounging because the 81-pound golden doodle I have just has to lay on my chest. <laughs> He loves you so much. It's so funny. Have you guys you guys ever watched Married with Children back in the day with Al Bundy? And he would always, this was um, Ed, Ed O'Neill. Is that his name? Ed, yeah. The guy who was the grandpa and family. Um, now Ed, I can't yeah. think. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. But, lo- lounging modern back, family. he would always sit there. Yeah, modern family. He'd always sit there and he would put one hand down the front of his pants. Just just tuck it in there and you would just lounge back in his couch. Every that's, time I think of lounging back. Thing. That's it me. Is. I do like a little hand in the pants. But yeah, like it, you're not, your hand is just resting there. It's yeah. not doing anything. It's just resting there. Well, <laughs> at, least, at least for most of us. Uh, if you're if you're sitting curled, it means you prefer function over form. Those who enjoy curling up on a sofa do so because their primary interest is in comfort, not the perception of others who may be around. So in hmm. other words, you don't care. That's probably me. I think. Hmm. Yeah, What's, curl well, up you on didn't, a couch. You didn't read the lounger. How the, long is your couch, Corey? <laughs> Long. It's, 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 it's Kilo Neal size. Yeah. Uh, lounging back, those who, well, no, I said that because it was Natalie too. They take up the uh, area a couch has to offer and are comfortable taking up extra space and enjoying their comfort. If you're crisscross, it often indicates a desire to project an image of sophistication and composure. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, isn't it? Uh, it's 5.55. Stand by. Play along with the $1,000 Minute. We'll have it in about 10 minutes at 6.05. 101. W- Six. Now back to Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. 56 right now. 5.58 starting Monday. Your chance to win free money with a little game we call Beat the Buzzer. Your and money keeps growing, baby. And if, it's, if you stop it, the buzzer, that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a really good explanation. Are Thank you okay? You. I glitched a little you bit there. Glitch there. Mm-hmm. So the money keeps growing until the buzzer hits, and then it all goes that's away. It. So you can basically say, "Tell us to keep going or stop," as you hear different increments of money. It's that simple. It is kind of it's nerve wracking. It is. We it had is. a couple of good ones. Drama. Last, yeah, the, it's the drama, dude. It's just like watching One Tree Hill, but via a video game that's on the radio. I'm glitching. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. It's all thanks to Bud Light. 840 is your first chance to beat the buzzer and win money Monday morning right here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. It's about 56 degrees right now at 6.05 on 101 WIXX. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey going to be 77 today with some rain. <laughs> Colosso Toyota of Appleton. On 101 WIX. <laughs> Megan in Green Bay. Megan, you got to tell people why you were laughing when we uh, when we picked up the phone when you were calling here just a moment ago. Um, well, first the phone was ringing and I, I was like, uh-oh. And then you guys answered and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of wanted to play, but not really. <laughs> 
Well, now you are. Here we go. All right, you can Yay. do this. You can do this, Megan. We've got ten questions. You've got sixty seconds. If you answer them all correctly in sixty, you'll win a thousand dollars. Remember, if you don't know the answer, simply say the word "pass." We'll skip past it, come back to it as long as time allows. If you get them all correct in 60, you're going home with $1,000. You start your day with $1,000. All right, here we go, Megan. All right. Coming down in three, two, one, go. East and West Germany reunified in 1990 after the fall of what political barrier? The Berlin Wall. Which food item is known as the stinky rose? The stinky what? Rose. Um, Artichoke? No. Uh, Pam. What state is known as the Hawkeye State? Ohio. No. Iowa. What are you drinking if you had a cup of red rose? A wine. No. Oh, shoot. Pam. Who wrote Hamlet, Romeo, and Juliet? And which automaker produces a Mustang? Ford. What song is this lyric from? I think I did it again. I made you believe we're more than just friends. Uh, oops, I did it again by Britney Spears. Complete this saying. All that glitters is not? Gold. What was Little Muff- Little Miss Muffet eating? Curds and whey. What is the mascot slash nickname for Freedom High School? Oh, crap. <laughs> Pass. Oh. You're the, barely oh, dinging that crap. bell. I know, dude. My, my chubby finger got in the way. It's not the Freedom O Craps. <laughs> the Freedom O Craps. That's what hey, they should change their name to. Here Fighting O Craps. The Freedom Sandwiches <laughs> is the name. The Freedom Sandwiches. Oh, no, it's the Irish. Seriously? No. <laughs> the, <laughs> that would be awesome, though. The, the Freedom Sandwiches. The Irish. You got the two rose ones wrong. Uh, the stinking rose, we would either accept Natalie or garlic. Wow. <laughs> if you're drinking a... Okay. If you're drinking a cup of rose, that's tea. That's tea. Oh. So that's all. That's all right. it. You did a good job, though. Yeah, you good did job. really good. You had a good good role there going. So, hey, Megan, thank you so much for playing today. You don't win the $1,000, but you don't walk away empty-handed today. We're going to get you a certificate so you can come in and shave our news guy, Robert Kennedy's beard yes. someday, someday, okay? And, <laughs> wow. <laughs> You just Seriously? Have to, you yeah. have to provide the razor, and uh, you have to get him to stay and stay still for you to do that. Mm-hmm. And he also okay. doesn't want he doesn't want his beard shaved, and so. he's got a long throat. Good luck with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Eat a couple wait. razors. You guys, stop Megan, it with Megan, this girl. <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate you playing. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. All right. Chapel Rowan, good luck, babe. It's 101 WIXX 617 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Tomorrow night, the first Packers game of the year right here on yeah. WIXX live from Brazil. Yeah. As the Packers take on the Eagles, Wayne and Larry have all the action starting <laughs> at 7 o'clock. Pre-game. Wayne and Larry. Starting at 5 o'clock, you'll get the pregame coverage right here on WIXX. You know what's crazy, too, is I've done two of these now, and I messed up last year, and I'm talking about the Packers kickoff game. Yeah, I was by myself. I was on the stage. I'm glad glad there wasn't the 40,000 people that are normally there because I didn't do the Packers chant right. You remember this? I went, Packers, Packers. Two people came over by the tent. They were like, hey, you've been here for almost two years now. It's Go Pack Go. Yeah. Go Pack Go. Go, go Pack Go. <laughs> so yeah. this is, uh, is going to be cool because uh, there's going to be a bunch of crows there, and we're going to be able to count them. The Counting Crows. <laughs> hey, nice. Counting Crows. That's next Saturday already. Can you believe it? Yeah. At Saturday night, 5 o'clock, um, free concert. Is so. there another band? No. Nope. Just Counting Crows. Oh, that's it? Five o'clock, couple of hours, they'll be playing all their hits from the 90s. They'll be singing along. Yeah. I want to get... I want to go to like Party City or something and actually get real crows and start chucking them out into the audience. Probably, probably would discourage that. <laughs> Just crow, guessing. Crow, they'd be like, crow away, Huggy. Yeah. Crow away. Yeah, they probably would. Be. <laughs> Perling Clark Law Firm Traffic Alert. Hey, if you're on Highway 29, it's actually closed both directions, eastbound and westbound at County Road V and Manitowoc Road due to a structure fire. Not sure exactly what that is. Maybe a barn. Highway 29 closed in both directions between... County V and Manitowoc Road. That's uh, just outside of Green Bay on your way to Kiwani this morning due to a structure fire. Uh, traffic alerts courtesy of Hurling Clark Law Firm here on 101. WIXX and Robert is in next with news. Here's Jelly Roll and MGK. Lonely Ro- Jelly Roll and MGK on 101. WIXX, Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Robert Kennedy joins us from the WTAQ newsroom at 622 yes. right now. Did you hear about this? Lamborghini is releasing its first ever 
baby stroller. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get it just to carry stinks around in it. <laughs> that would be funny. It's a website. On its website, it says it's for parents and or babies who want to discover the exhilarating fusion of luxury fabric and precision engineering. It's a 400 <laughs> thread count. 600 thread count of just baby. You know, but what if the baby doo-doo's in it? Well, yeah. that's a, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably know. gonna be thousands of dollars. Now the promo for it, there's a video for it that's almost like a Saturday Night Live parody commercial that you've seen before, mm -hmm. where it's just all these shots of the different angles of this Lamborghini baby stroller. It's, <laughs> it's way over the top, and they're only going to make a few of them, so you know there's going to be like a demand for them, and it'll be outrageously priced. Thousands of dollars, maybe even more. Who knows? Would you buy it, Corey? No, would not. Okay. Yeah. No way. Yeah. A stroller is a stroller. I can see Natalie yeah. swooping it just no because. No way. <laughs> the Lamborghini stroller. Such the a, only stroller that's a status person that Natalie is. She yeah, well, yeah, you know, she likes the Lamborghinis. <laughs> just kidding. She wants her man to have a Lamborghini. That's what she wants. <laughs> yeah, so I can drive it. I guess the good news is, is it's the only stroller on the market that comes with a valet parking option. <laughs> 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 All right, well, on that note, Robert, what's happening Goodbye. in the world? A 14-year-old suspect in a deadly school shooting in Georgia investigated over similar threats last year. The student killed four people, injured nine others at Appalachie High School in Georgia Wednesday morning. Federal officials have revealed the suspect made online threats to commit a school shooting back in May of 2023. Governor Tony Evers kicking off another school year with his annual back-to-school tour across the state. Evers says having someone with the background he has is important in his role as governor. Evers served as the state superintendent of public instruction from 2009 to 2019 before running for governor. Higher ed classes now underway at UW-Madison, Green Bay, and Eau Claire. UW-Madison officials say 10,000 new students are on campus starting this year. 50,000 students total starting classes. Students living on UW campuses moved in during the past week. Once again, overtime not very, very good to the Milwaukee Brewers. For the second game in a row, the Brewers lose to the St. Louis Cardinals in extras, this time by a 3-2 score in 10. Milwaukee with a nine-game lead now over the rest of the NL Central. Brewers are off today before the Colorado Rockies come to town to begin a weekend series tomorrow at AmFam Field. Bobby, there was a, was it last night the Cubs were, ver who were they playing last night, do you know? Because there was like a, a no-hitter going on for both teams, I think. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. So I saw it on a Facebook post, so it's probably not real. All right, see ya! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think the Cubs completed the deal yeah. uh, and got the no-hitter yeah. and so, won the so, game. So the other team didn't obviously no, they must clearly, have made, yeah. well i guess you wouldn't necessarily have to no uh, get ready for this lawsuit. Uh, an Alabama man has died after the hospital he went to removed the wrong organ. Oh, God. 70-year-old William Bryan of Muscle Shoals and his wife were visiting their condo in the Florida Panhandle last month when Bryan began feeling a sharp pain in his left side. He was admitted to an area hospital to have his spleen removed. Instead, doctors removed his liver by mistake. How oh, do you do that? Oh, my That's God. Awful. That's terrible. How do you do? You hear about cell phones getting sewed into your body. You hear about accidental toe amputations, but I've never once in my five How'd years of being a doctor have ever mistaken <laughs> a liver for a spleen, you know? That's, yeah, that's sad. That's crazy. Yikes. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be some new, like, medical standards that are going to have to go into place because of this so it doesn't happen again. He went to Prairie State, Illinois, out <laughs> by where I am. <laughs> What's uh, that? It's, oh, a, it's a community college, and that's probably where he learned how to... <laughs> Okay. I think this is a spleen. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. All right, 626. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. On the way, Natalie's hit list. Dancing with the convict. Is this even legal? Yep. <laughs> we'll find out in just moments on WIXX. Your chance to win free. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. Look at that sun rise, and it is 54 right now in Green Bay. WIXX straight up 630. <laughs> Erling Clark Law Firm Traffic Alert. If you're going on 29 between Kiwani and Green Bay, it's actually shut down both directions due to a structure fire. Uh, this is going to be between Manitowoc Road. Oh, I lost it now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a few miles out of Green Bay, I guess, right past Henrysville. 29 both ways closed.
That would be in Pilsen. So if you're in Pilsen, that area, uh, it's going to be closed both ways due to a structure fire. Traffic alerts courtesy of Hurling Clark Law Firm, live local and saving you some time this morning. It's 101 WIXX Morgan Wallen and Thinking About Me on now. Are you thinking about me? Morgan Wallen at 634 with Huggy Natalie and Corey on 101 WIXX. Natalie's hit list is on 101 WIXX. Get it. Dancing with the convict isn't even legal. We'll get into that. But first, thanks to our friends at Uptown Cheapskate Fashion Exchange, Kid to Kid and Oswabanon, Jason Kelsey knew his connection with Kylie Kelsey was different after she laughed off his embarrassing moment on their second date. What do you guys think an embarrassing moment would be on a date? I uh, fart. <laughs> no, I do that all the time. I rip them. You wouldn't do that on your first date, though. Second date. Second date, at least. If, Second you, if you fart and they stick around, that's love right there. Well, that's exactly what happened. Oh. He said, quote, I know I embarrassed myself on the second date, too, because we're going ice skating. I'm trying my skates on, and the moment I sit down, a fart squeezed out. Points. Yes, points. <laughs> he said she laughed about it, and he said, all right, we'll be fine. If she can laugh, we'll be all good. And they've been married for a while. Oh, first date, huh? Just second, second, second date. date. Second but date. Still, though, that's, that's pretty. It was on accident. Whoops. Yeah. Just like that. When somebody picks you up, you say you toot. <laughs> <laughs> that was one time. <laughs> it was one time in high school. Okay. You Anyways, Jamie Fox will discuss will discuss his myster- mystery. Oh wow! Mysterious. Glitch. Glitch, thank you. Yes, health scare that landed him in a hospital last year. The actor dropped the news on Instagram this week promoting one more chance, an evening with Jamie Foxx. And is teasing a deep dive into his health scare saga last year. And it's supposed to happen sometime in October. We thought we, yeah, is he we in a coma? We, yeah. He was, yeah. He was like, we thought we were going to lose him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talented man. And he hasn't Super. shared anything. Anything. Yeah, so, so we don't know what it was. Nothing. Very oh. little. We've we've known very little. Hmm. So he's capitalizing on it. Good yeah. for him. Got to do it. All right, Dancing with the Convict. What is going on? So Dancing with the Stars just released their new lineup. However, this is a first. Anna Dalvi, the Russian-born New York City socialite, was convicted in 2019. She was the one swindling the banks and friends out of more of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. She's swapping prison. For the dance floor. The 33-year-old con artist gained international attention in 2022 after Netflix released its miniseries called Inventing Anna, mm-hmm. and that took off. Oh, yeah. It blew up based on her life. Since being released from prison in 2022, Delvey has been under house arrest. <laughs> Therefore, she has to dance with the ankle monitor on and it's actually in the promotion pictures so you can te- text dance to 31011 and it looks, see it's gonna be so interesting to see that because i know they do a lot of leg work you know right just knocks the partner yeah, dude, in the head his arm gets stuck or on gets the, caught in the heel that's what i'm saying I, <laughs> why can't they just keep it off for that little bit of time ice won't let her ice, well yeah because she almost got deported back to germany so ice allowed her to leave New York City to go to L.A. to film Dancing with the Stars, which airs September 13th. Oh. Again, if you want to see that picture, it is kind of funny. Text DANCE to 31011. We'll uh, send you the link. Also, Tori yeah. Spelling and Dwight Hi- Howard are going to be on this cast, too. There's a there's the uh, American rugby player that I love, Alana Meyer. Mayer. Okay. I just don't really know her name, but she is ripped. She is jacked. Is she on that? She, yeah, she is oh. bigger and more ripped than the dancer that she's teamed up with. Which is normally oh not the case. Oh, my yeah. gosh, dude. <laughs> she's going to be picking him up. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? All right, that's Natalie's Hit List. Thanks to our friends at Uptown Cheapskate Fashion Exchange, Kid to Kid in Green Bay at 637. Hey, if your kid is back to school this week and they're not allowed to be on their cell phone at all during school, if they have to, like, put it away and, and they can't have it back until after school, we want to hear about whether or not that's uh, been a good thing for your family or has it uh, presented some challenges. We'll discuss this. We'd love to hear from you. 920-406-1011 is a phone number. That's 920-406-1011 or 31011. You can text us on the Capital Credit Union text line this morning. With Huggy, Natalie, and Corey, it's Hosier on WIXS. School is back in session, and we want to hear from you parents and students as to whether or not having your cell phone in school or taken away is a good thing or not. You know what? We were talking about this yesterday. Taken away is so embarrassing, okay? I've gotten two four-hour detentions on a Saturday for, like, my soccer coach 
and I had to miss a game because I was listening to my iPod in the bleachers. He took it away. What? In the bleachers? In the bleachers. Why is that a big deal? After lunch, I was just chilling. I was probably in a depressed mood, but I was always happy because that's how you, that's what you do when you have bipolar. You got to fake it. But I'm sitting there just listening, probably system of a down. Mr. Jennings comes over. He's like, give me the iPod. So he, cause I was a freshman on varsity. All right. So I had to miss a game and they lost that game. I just want to go ahead and say that we have a four hour detention on a Saturday. Just is not for having a your iPod. See, yep. well, well, and nowadays with cell phones in schools. Oh, by the way, this is WIXX at <laughs> 642. Huggy, Natalie and Corey forgot to say that. Um, the way they do it now in a lot of schools is that they literally don't allow you to have phones at all like like you can either you can put them in your locker some schools allow them to be taken out like in between classes and mm-hmm. things like Passing that time but some some don't like uh i was reading an article and i'm not sure about schools in this area so this is where we would love to hear from you about this like Wanakee, which is just north of madison like if a kid is caught with their cell phone during school they get saturday detention yeah it's the worst it's big time mm-hmm. we got a seventy-five dollar ticket. What if Whoa. we got caught with our cell phone? Milwaukee for you. Yeah, literally, the police would come and they would issue you a seventy-five dollar ticket, and they would take your phone. Now, you, you're much younger than me, Natalie. Yes, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of phones did you guys have? Smartphones back then, or was it no, still like the, the dumb I had, phones? I had like I didn't the have the phone. razor. I had the katana. Okay. Okay. Mm. So the katana was like the wish version. Of <laughs> wish doc, the Timu version of a <laughs> razor, dude. So parents, we want to hear from you though. Like, your kid has to go to school. They they're not on their phone at all during school. Are we talking like middle school or high school? Because yeah. I think that's a big difference too. You, you think so? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like, as a mom, I am now bring down the mood a little bit. Here we go. I want him. Atlas, my son, if he was in middle school or high school, to be able to contact me at any point in time. For example, like the unfortunate school shooting, right? Like if Atlas doesn't have his phone because it's locked up in a locker and he's trapped or something, he could have his cell phone. You know what I mean? So it's like nowadays we also have to worry about something like that. Uh. So it's like maybe they could all put it in like a a container in the classroom somewhere. This is where... And then they can, you know, take it out when they're going to leave the room. This is where Faraday comes in, okay? It can block the signals from... <laughs> I don't want to go into it, but... Yeah. Dad! Dad, it's Jenna! <laughs> I can't believe you make me keep my phone at home! Dad! <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to text my friends while we're having for lunch! Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm I, Jenna! Corey's I, daughter! I got, a, I got an app request for, like, Pinterest for my daughter in the middle of the school day the other day. I'm like, what are you, first of all, what are you doing on your phone? But it was in her locker, I'm sure. And second of all, why do you need Pinterest in the middle of the day? I know it was, it was some app. Maybe it wasn't Pinterest. Okay. So we would love to hear too, like uh, we're getting texting in from different school districts in Brilliant, which we're, we'll be at tonight, by the yeah. way, for the crash your concessions. They have their cell phones, but if they become a distraction, it gets confiscated. I took my daughter's last year for failing classes. Ooh. That's, that's a good that's idea. Smart. Though. Yes. Yeah. I was failing classes for a, a couple of them. Just one. It was algebra. Dang it. I had to take that in summer school, but my parents took away my car. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, how am I supposed to get to my friends' houses? Ride your bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It. So we'd love to hear if you think parents or even teachers, if you want to chime in on this, you think uh, cell phones, uh, not having them during the day or having them during the day, the pluses and minuses, I guess, the uh, positives and negatives of that. 920-406-1011 is the phone number. 920-406-1011 or the Capital Credit Union text line at 31011. 6.45 right now with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. Hey, what's up? It's Russell Nick. 101 WIXX 651. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. We're having this discussion, and we'd love to hear from you this morning about you think it's a good thing or not that your school for your kids allows cell phones in school or or they or they don't. Who's this? This is Courtney from Moscow. Hi, right. Courtney. Courtney, what do you think? I have a 7-year-old and a 11-year-old that the Break seven-year-old is mine. So wait. Just... But our eleven-year-old, we actually let him take his phone to school. But our one rule is it has to be turned off during school hours. Okay. But we'd like to have him to have it because 
he does walk to school when he walks home, and he also has an after-school program. So that way, if we need to get in contact with him or if he needs to contact us. Yeah, I, that makes sense, Courtney. Thanks for the call. 920-406-1011 if you want to chime in on the conversation or 31011 on the Capital Credit Union text line. Yeah, Shy Guy line over here. It says, my Oshkosh High School, where I am, uh, allows students to have theirs on them but if we, we shouldn't see them, but if we do, we would take them away. This other one is really interesting. It says, Kakana High School phone policy is the first offense is a warning. Second offense, teacher takes phone until the end of the day. Third offense, phone goes to the office and the parents have to come get it. Fourth is same as third with restricted lunch. Now, do the parents have to come like right away, right then and there? No. Can no. they get it at the After end of the school, day? school, you got to go home, tell your parents that you're in trouble. They got to come in and get their phone probably. Yeah, like I can't get my phone until you come get it. Yeah. Uh, I am a teacher, I somebody it. says. It doesn't say which district is that. Uh, students do not need their phones with them during the day. They are too distracting because of Snapchat and texting and all the other apps they use to communicate. If there is a need for them to communicate to their parents, they have a Chromebook that they can email their parent if needed. Most parents are on the computer for work anyway. That's mm-hmm. a teacher uh, texting into 31011. I've okay, seen videos on TikTok that some schools have those pouches, their Faraday pouches, I think, or those little pouches at like concerts and stuff that they give. Um, they don't want any videos or pictures at school. See, that's a yeah. big thing. That yeah. is a big well, thing. It turns into cyberbullying. Yeah. No. Which is awful. You know what? Bring back notes. Oh, yeah. Like, do you like me? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> no, no, passing notes. Do they still pass notes in school? Probably not anymore with texting and Snapchat. Hi, WIXX. Who's this? Hi. Um, I wanted to weigh in on the cell phones in school. Sure. What the, sure. What's your name and uh, what town are you from? What school are you uh, talking about? I am. My name is Maggie. I'm from Fond du Lac. Okay. All right, Maggie, get heavy. All right. So I teach in Fond du Lac. So our cell phone policy is pretty much like it stays put away and it's in your locker. And that has changed over the couple past couple of years. We used to be a lot more lenient with it. Um, but it's because kids would like Snapchat each other and talk to each other and then like meet up and fight in the bathroom. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, in order to prevent a lot of drama, we had to make sure that the cell phones got put away in lockers. And honestly, it has improved the school so much. Really? How, like, uh, how, how how would you say it has improved the school? There's just not as much drama and fighting and things there, like that? There's, there's less drama. There's less fighting. Kids aren't, like, seeking each other out to, like, go argue about something. Um, I would say, like, there's less kids, like, crying in class or like in the oh. hallways because somebody said something about them online yeah um and it just really it's really helped like our school environment also we don't the teachers don't really have to like fight the battle of put your cell phone away there's less like conflict in that way too because it's a school-wide policy so everybody's like on the same page about it that it just stays in your locker and that's where it is um, okay. Okay. Well, Maggie, so thank you so much for the it call. Feels we, a lot we appreciate safer that. Without them. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely sounds like that. Well, thanks for the input on that, Maggie. Call back anytime. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Bye. You know, I'm I'm glad that like they do take them away because a lot of people are saying they have to leave them in the locker during school hours because social media, like we were talking about yesterday, and smartphones, like we were talking about the other day, like if kids are distracted by making their own TikToks. Okay, because yeah. all their friends are around. They're trying to do the dances, the mm-hmm. the shimmies and the doggies, and everything <laughs> like that. Like, how are they actually going to learn? You know, that's just something that I was thinking about. I think right now also it's hard to keep them because their attention span is so low yeah. right now too. Yeah. We got Snapchat. It's attention. hard to do that, but. Honestly, it makes me so sad thinking about the bullying and how people yeah. can just like snap a picture and like post it and like that can really shape somebody's adult life. Yeah, you I mean, know, that, so that, those are traumatic stop experiences. doing that, y'all. You're not cool. When, when, Ma- when Maggie just said that, when less people crying in the hallways, it's like, oh man, like that, yeah, that, that's that happens. Awful. Oshkosh teacher and parent here, somebody texting into 31011. Students can bring their phone, but if it has, to, but it has to stay in their locker during school hours. If we see it, it's taken too the office. Oh, here, here's one. And I know, Natalie, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, what happened yesterday in Georgia shows why kids should be able to carry their phones. So, calling 911 at the first sign of trouble, side texting of trouble. parents, walking into the classroom, put phones in a pouch, hanging by the door in the duration of the class. That is a popular one, I 
think a lot of classrooms have that where, okay, you can bring your phone in. You got right. to put it in this basket mm-hmm. and it sits there until, you know, the end of the class. Yep. And then they're anxious about, okay, is class over? It's I got to check I my, get phone. my phone. You know, I really think bring back the lo- notes. Like, you know how much fun it was writing a note and hiding it and like having to like anticipate <laughs> when to toss it or like having <laughs> other be like, hey, Send, send this to B over there. And then they're like passing all the way through the classroom. You have to do to it the secretly. B. Everybody's yeah. doing it secretly. Or yeah. you have that jerk teacher that grabs it and then reads it out loud. Yeah. Imagine they grab your phone. They have to read your DMs. Mrs. Johnson has the biggest nose in the world. Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan, no, don't read it. It's about your girlfriend. Jonathan, ah! stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, they, somebody somebody um, has a response to what the text was that you just read, Huggy, yeah. about needing a phone in the classroom due to situations like that horrible thing that happened in Georgia with the shooting yesterday. Why do kids need a phone in the classroom for a situation like Georgia? The teacher has a phone, and that's all they need. That is true. Well, that te- is true. Te- but, but texting parents. Right. You yeah. see the parent side of it. I don't know. I still think overall you're better off without cell phones and in classrooms, and I, I think most people would agree. Uh, thank you for all your phone calls and text messages. It's 658 here on WIXX. Happy Coming up on 7 o'clock here, it's Hurling Clark Law Firm Traffic Alert on WIXX. There's a couple of them now. This one just came in. Wisconsin 42 north and southbound at County Road X. This is in Door County near Forestville. Is closed in both directions due to a crash. We also had a report earlier that Highway 29 in Pilsen um, is also blocked both ways due to a structure fire. That's uh, again Highway 20 or uh, yeah Highway 29 between Green Bay and Kiwani. That's going to be uh, right near Pilsen is closed as well due to a structure fire with Hurling Clark Law Firm. Traffic alerts always saving you time. Live and local here on WIXX with Teddy Swims now. <laughs> 101 WIXX, Petty Swims, and the door. It's 703 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. We need a contestant for the $1,000 minute. We sure do. It's Big Deborah. I'm no. back, your favorite mini muffin no, lady. If Deborah. you would like to play and win $1,000 so you can go ahead and buy some of my muffins, which are bigger than my sister Lil Debbie's, you can call 406 1011. Big Debbie out. Okay, go, Debbie, go back to the kitchen. Okay. Uh, 3 920 406 1011. That's sexist. Play thousand dollar minute next. We were good. Miley Cyrus at seven oh seven with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on one hundred one WIXX. Thousand dollar minute. Thanks to Colosso Toyota of Appleton on one hundred one WIXX. <laughs> Samantha from Lamira on the phone. Hi, Samantha. How are you on this fine day? I'm lovely. How are you guys? I'm Hello. pretty good. This is Big Debra. Have you ever had any of my muffins? Right, You're big... so annoying. Oh, I'm not annoying. <laughs> big Debra, please go back to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Huggy, are you Take back? Me a yeah, I'm back. What up, dude? Okay, good. What, what happened? Uh, Samantha, we had Big Deborah in here. Samantha, you got 10 questions, 60 seconds. If you don't know the answer, say pass. We'll skip past it. Come back to it if time allows. If you get them all correct in 60, you start your day with $1,000. Not a bad deal. Coming down, Samantha, in three, two, one, go. How many quarts are in a gallon? Eight. No. Four. Which is the only major sport in which coaches wear the team uniform? Soccer. No. Football. Mm-mm. Baseball. What does the acronym MTV stand for? National Television? M. M is in Mary. Oh. F. What is the name of the little girl in The Wiggles? Pass. Who is the only country artist with a top 20 hit on the Billboard Country song... Country songs chart in six straight decades. Toby Keys? No. Yeah. Crimson is a shade of what primary color? Red. What is five times five times five? Did you know one. that math one at the end there, Samantha? No. <laughs> it's uh, 125. That's five times five times five. Uh, good old Dolly Parton. She had six for six straight decades. A top 20 hit on the Billboard Crimson. Did she get red? 
Gucci. Crimson and Clover. Yeah, she did. Uh, MTV, music television. That's music television, which no longer plays any music. Uh, <laughs> Emma was the little girl on The Wiggles. <laughs> All right. Nom, nom, nom. Samantha. Yeah. Thank you for playing long. She today. wasn't we- an offer, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, it could have been worse. Samantha, thank you for playing. <laughs> and thank you for putting up with Big Deborah. Ah, I'm talking to man. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day. Thousand dollar bid, another chance to win with Huggy Nally and Corey at 805 this morning on WIXX. Wanna play next? Text thousand to 31011 or sign up at W. Alright, homies of the show, I need you to do me a favor real quick. I want you to close your eyes. Three. Two, one. Did you bump into the back of somebody? Because that's called negligence. And if you want to go ahead and find out if you have a case for the insurance companies, you can hit up Russell from Nicolay Law. <laughs> or if you are the driver that just got hit because of the negligence, <laughs> uh, call Nicolay Law because they will make sure that you get what you deserve from the insurance companies, which is a big old win, baby. They have an office right here in Green Bay. Nicolay Law is the Wisconsin's best attorneys okay they're also the midwest motorcycle lawyers you don't want to miss with nicolay law so when you need to win you need to get the beard get nicolay law get the beard get the beard hey red bull fans time to start your it's knox with not the 1975 it's 101 wixx huggy natalie and Corey, and robert joins us from the wtaq newsroom this morning hi robbie Robert, Hi, happy Friday Eve. Mm-hmm. Robert, yeah, Friday Robert evening. Sr. So nice to see that uh, this week has gone by so fast with Labor Day being just a day. Shocking how that works. Kind of feels like forever ago, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So there's a electronic store in the UK called Curry's, and they just posted maybe the best ad of the year. They're trying to attract more young people to their store. So they had a middle-aged employee. I'm guessing the guy is about 40 or so. Mm. He read the script. <laughs> Loaded with Gen Z slang. Okay, he's got a thick accent, but you'll be able to hear. There's one line in particular that I think will will make you laugh. The Brat Summer at Curry's, my guys. Our offers hit different AF. This microwave ate and left no crumbs. If you've got the guap, a pizza oven is peak flex. These are giving me life. No gas in. Need a new phone? I'd bet. Say less. This one's bussin' skibbity toilet riz. (laughs) This air fryer is the goat. On point cash with that low-key drip to have all your guests saying, yes, slay queen. He cooked. Our returns policy is on fleek, Brev. Don't believe us. We got the receipts. Yes. That really irritated me. <laughs> <laughs> like then, how, then how does my lingo not irritate you? Well, well because like you're a millennial. Say less. <laughs> oh, I think that's so funny. So, yeah, if you want to see that video, if you want to see that um a commercial. It's really funny because, again, the guy's like 40 years old, and you know that he doesn't even know half the things that he's saying, but he's mm-hmm. just saying them. Text the word store, S T O R E, to 31011. We'll send it right to your store. Uh, right to your store. Right to your store. <laughs> right to your phone. Store to 31011. It's Thursday. Robert, kind of feels like one of these days. Oh, look, it's time for Bobby's news. Oh, what you lucky here? Bobby's got some news. Oh, yeah, Bobby, give it to us. Coming up tomorrow, the Packers will look to start their season off with a win in Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, both teams have met with the league's security office, which has informed them on what they can and can't do while in Sao Paulo. Players have been told leaving their hotel for reasons other than transportation to and from the game is not advised. Kickoff tomorrow is set for 7.15. Of course, this very radio station will have the game for you tomorrow with the pregame starting Woo! at, uh, what, about 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock right here yeah. at WIXX. The Nina Common Council voting 7-2 to last night to repeal a convenience store alcohol ban in place for more than 40 years. Currently, 52 businesses sell booze in Nina with the ban's repeal. 11 convenience stores will be added. There have been several attempts to repeal that ban over the years. None have succeeded. The repeal is effective immediately. Scientists say your cell phone does not cause brain cancer. Nearly every single adult uses a cell phone in America. Some worried the electromagnetic fields produced by mobile phones could cause cancer. But after a lot of study, the World Health Organization says 
you can breathe a little easier. A winning lottery ticket worth four million bucks sold in our neck of the woods. That ticket sold at a quick trip on Meadow Lane in Manitowoc. It matched five of six Powerball numbers <gasps> during last Friday's drawing. Another winning ticket from that same drawing sold at a quick trip in Janesville. That won that buyer ten thousand bucks. Dang! And half Rick. a million dollars, <laughs> half a million dollars is going to buy you half a house in uh, Southern California. Property in question is a one-bedroom, one-bath home in the city of Monrovia. About four months ago, a tree crashed into the house. It split it in half. Now what's left is for sale, including a few missing walls. The real estate agent, a clever person, is calling it an open concept floor plan. That's awesome. That's actually kind of funny. That is funny. That's really not... That's that's cheap. I'd take a half a house because well, I was just paying for gasoline and parking tickets when I lived in L.A. So <laughs> <laughs> I was living in my car, dude. Yeah, man, <laughs> better, better than the back seat. Robert, that brings an interesting question. Tomorrow night, high school football games, there's quite a few of them in the area tomorrow night. So how well will they be attended as opposed to a normal Friday night game with the Packers on? You'd think parents aren't going to skip out on watching their kids play football to watch the Packers. At least... I mean, if it's a mother-father situation, maybe one will go to the game, one uh, to the high back. school game, and the other one will stay yeah, home. stay home and watch yeah. the, the Packers game. Or they, stream it yeah, on their phone. What they need to do is, yeah. during the Packers game, have it up on the big Jumbotron or something like that so they can watch both. Not oh. distracting at all. Yeah, not distracting. No. Players would be watching <laughs> if that like, were the case. They're rooting and tooting, and yeah. it's the Packers, not their kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting conundrum, which is... Uh, conundrum. It'll, it'll, it'll be... Uh, Interesting to see how that all shows up. Natalie brings up a good point, though. I think you, you could go to the high school games, watch the Packers game on your phone while you're sitting in the grandstands. Are you able to stream just, it, I suppose, if you had the NFL package or whatever? Yeah, then, probably. Yeah. Just imagine, like, all the dads are watching I, it right. on their phones and, like, something happens and they're all <laughs> yeah! like, yeah, at the same time. But in the game, it's like the opposite team is doing something. Yeah. And they're like, Dad, why are you rooting for the wrong yeah, I, team? I just threw a pick six. <laughs> well, Daddy, why don't you love me? Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, Robert. Appreciate it. 720. Natalie's hit list right around the corner. And a show was halted because of an emergency. Is this what we have to worry about now at shows? All right, we'll find out in seven minutes what that's all about on WIXX. WIXX and Builders First. Now back to Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. It's 57 right now at 729. We're going to be in Brilliant tonight for the Brilliant versus Chilton football game. Crash your concession with Builders First Source and WIXX. If you want us to be at your concession to crash it next, text the word CRASH to 31011. Hi, who's this? This is Katerina. Hey, what's up, Katerina? I was just wondering if you could give a shout-out to my twins, Gordon and Cecilia, for their first ever day of school, and they're starting 4K. Aww. Aww. That's so nice. Uh, absolutely not. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, where are they going to school at? Abrams Elementary. All right. Happy first day of school. Thanks for calling, Katerina. Thank you. WIXX, Benson Moon slowed down, so we were talking about the dilemma that some people are going to have between watching their kids play high school football tomorrow night or watching the Packers game. Somebody texted in that if you have Peacock on your phone, I guess they're going to stream it on Peacock. So to your point, Natalie, people could watch it on their phone while Heck they're yeah. at their high school. So they're there, they're, they're um, basically not paying attention to their kids to cheer on the Packers. Well, during the commercials, they can watch the yeah, show. No, you're right. Or watch the watch game. Watch the show. The game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have tights on for a reason. Right. <laughs> 7.32. <laughs> the list that keeps on giving. It's Natalie's Hit List on 101 WIXX. Sponsored by our friends at Illumitox Aesthetic Studio in Nina, where you can join them for their fall market happening October 6th from 12 to 4. So a show was halted because of an emergency and... And wondering, is this what shows are coming down to? But first, Kim Kardashian, her eight-year-old son, Saint, has signed a contract with her to launch a YouTube channel. Now imagine this. Kim Kardashian is making her eight-year-old son sign a contract with sign his mom. A contract. Now here's what it is. She said he better not breach it. And Saint is promising not to share any personal family information Kim is asking her fans to please subscribe and wondered if Saint is too young to have his own podcast. Now, listen, podcast is a little much, but I think the YouTube thing is funny. Now, I, I remember this one time. This was a few years ago, but my best friend Johnny and I, we were watching some live in Northwest. Her oldest daughter was on live and we wrote... Go get your mom's credit card. Tell us the number. 
It's actually pretty funny. Oh, right? I'm all for that. Like, what did the card say? What does the number say on that yeah. cool black card? What's the magic number? Hey, what, what was the first clause in that? The first clause was you can't share any information about the family. Mm-hmm. Right. It's the called, Kardashians. Yeah. Right. Are, are Keeping concerned up with the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's all they well, their own reality show for 20 years. Yeah, but you know, the, it's, Chris keeps a tight yeah, lip on a lot of the family secrets. I think they're more tight-lipped than the royal family, to be honest. Really? Okay. Which is crazy. Okay, after discovering that resellers had snatched a large portion of tickets from her Franklin, Tennessee concert, Chapel Roan canceled those skull tickets. She announced that the tickets would be sold back to her fans via Ticketmaster form, aiming to ensure that genu- genuine fans get the chance to attend. Now, I think that's a great thing mm-hmm. because doesn't Ticketmaster have like a uh, pre-sale launch for certain credit card holders yep. and that's where the scalpers grab all of them and they're the best seats. So my question is, though, how, how can you determine that? Like, how, well, So you exactly. put it back on sale, it's going to be the same people that just bought them or are probably going to buy them. I don't know. Well, perhaps because it's not a pre-sale or you don't don't need a credit card in order to purchase them. It Maybe. just goes on. Yeah. Or is it that they'll go to the concert, the tickets won't work, and then they'll get their money back because of it? Well, they canceled all those tickets that oh. the scalpers bought. Well, but that imagine, so because the do scalpers do not The scalpers don't keep the tickets, so they're not the ones going to the concerts, and they're selling them to other people. So those other people that think they got a great deal on Chapel Roan tickets now are going to go to the concert, well, and they're no, not going to be able to go. because they upsell those tickets like crazy as well. Well, still, though. I mean, still, it's not going to be the scalpers that are going to, you know, potentially have the follow to that. It's going to be the people that bought them from the scalpers not knowing. Potentially. That would suck. Well, I guess the horse Boy. piece here. Well, 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 why well, don't you cry about it? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out. Though. Yeah. Finally, Green Day's live show at Camarcia Park in Detroit was briefly halted Wednesday night when the band left the stage during Longview after security spotted an un authorized drone. The the crowd continued singing as the band waited backstage for about 10 minutes. A video message informed fans of the delay upon returning frontman Billy Joe Armstrong reassured the audience that after performing Welcome to Paradise, he declared ain't no blank gonna stop us. Now, is it illegal to have... Oh, yeah. Drones at a concert? Yeah, because yeah. you could be filming the concert. If you it's, could share it, yeah, if it's unauthorized, it. yeah. like they probably have drones that are authorized. Right. I don't know how they'd find out. But which is which? Yeah. A which, drone fight? Yeah. Drone fight! <laughs> well, it's scary the things drones can do. I yeah. mean, you know, they could, they could use them as weapons. Yep. That's uh, scary. It that is scary. I'm glad they came back on because who pulled them off? You know, they're the most, they're still one of the most punk rock bands that are around right yeah. now, you know, besides like No Effects and, you know, I, they don't do what they're told ever. Just mm-hmm. remember well, that. In that case, I think it's probably the smart idea, though. You yeah. never know. You wouldn't mm-hmm. want to end up. Just get injured. one of those like t shirt cannons and try and get it. <laughs> hey, we'll fill it up with bratwurst like we normally do and yeah. shoot it at it. Those are skinny Billy, guns. <laughs> Billy Joe gets the brat, uh, brat zooka. <laughs> the Billy Zooka. Yeah. The Bill that's zooka. funny. 737, that's Natalie's hit list. Thanks to our friends at Illumitox Aesthetic Studio in Nina. We've got a note to Nat that we're going to need your help on. And this is coming from. A wife who's doing something behind a husband's back and she's afraid to tell him about it. Whether or not she should tell him what he's what she's doing behind his back might make you chuckle a bit. We'll have the letter for you right after Sabrina Carpenter and Espresso on WIXX. Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso 740 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey here on 101 WIXX and streaming on the WIXX app. Dear Natalie. Hey, Natalie, quick question. I wonder what Natalie thinks. Here's a note to Natalie. On WIXX. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is this disgusting. This is one of the best ones that we've had in a long time. Ladies, I want you to put yourself in this wife's shoes and think about this with your, your significant other, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My husband pees on the toilet seat and won't lift the top seat up that you sit on. I've begged him for years to please lift the seat when he pees. It's been seven years and I got tired of asking him because I would always be stuck sitting on his wet pee without warning. It's Ugh. so gross. Then I'd spend another four minutes washing my legs off because of it. So... I decided to start cleaning the toilet seat off with his bath towel, and I've never stopped since. We have been together for 10 years. Am I the jerk? (laughs) 
This is awesome. He's, he's wiping himself off uh, after the shower with a pee towel. Okay, it's not, you're not a jerk if you've been asking for cleanliness and respect for a long time. Uh, and, you know, you snooze, you lose. So if he's not cleaning up after himself and you have to clean up for him and there just happens to be his towel right there, well... <laughs> Wax on, don't wax you, off, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't even, f- I I don't think peeing on the seat's that bad. Okay, but you also live alone and you're a single guy. Now, I have, my six-year-old son, I make sure he lifts the seat every time. And if he doesn't and forgets and he pees on the seat or if we're in public and he pees on the seat, right, I'll be like, did you make a mess? And he'll be, at first he'll lie to me. Sometimes he won't, but sometimes he does. <laughs> And then I'll be like, okay, you got to clean it up. And he'll clean it up. And now he's getting in the habit of actually cleaning up after himself. Start them young, people. Yeah, he's, you, he's using your towel. To clean it up. <laughs> oh, no, he's not, really? baby. I'm actually, watching. That, that would explain a lot, Huggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you smell like a pee towel, dude. <laughs> well. it's, it's the one that you put on your head, you know, after your hair's washed. Oh, it's just <laughs> soaking in that hair. Yeah, listen, oh. Well, there's... it's extra oil. Wow. <laughs> Something uh, like that. Well, it's young oil, too. You know, old dude pee is different than But here's than the thing. You're talking pee. about a six-year-old kid. This woman has been married for 10 years talking about a grown adult yeah, that can will he not grow lift up? the seat. Yeah, apparently Is he it doesn't. that hard, guys, yes. for you? Is it that inconvenient to lift the seat up? Yeah, it is. And I'm still going to pee on the rim. Like, Corey, think about that. Why well, sit you on know the what? rim, though? I used to be in this camp where I'd say, why do I have to put the toilet seat down when it's just as easy or... Er, up when it's just as easy for you to put it down. Like, why am I the one that has to do the work? Because you're, you're the guy. The, but you're the one that's sitting on it. Not my problem. Yeah, take a gander before you. <laughs> but you're the guy. It's a gentleman thing to do. <laughs> yeah, he, she, he's been married to his wife for 20 years, do so you, you know he's peeing on the. Do you the put seat. the seat down? Um. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> Now I, I did. I did because you because st- you noticed that she was cleaning up your pee with wow. your towel. Yeah, that's it's so funny. We have you know twin boys. They're they're grown. I mean they're fine now. But a few years back, it was like my my wife would be like, "Why is there pee all over the toilet?" And I said, "They're learning to aim, honey. They're learning to aim. It takes a while. It takes a while, especially in the morning." You know, you ever tried that? I'm not okay. going to go into it. Atlas is yes. in, uh, in this phase now in the morning. Well, he'll just, go, well, on the weekends, I'll see because in the morning I don't. But he'll go in the bathroom and he like has his hands on his hips and he's like stretching and peeing and he'll like start talking to me. I'm like, focus. <laughs> just going everywhere. It's like a wild fire hose. <laughs> he's just like, a, he's like an older man now. He just like, he stretches. He goes, I, ugh. I wonder if, because my mom used to, and my mom and dad used to yell at me for peeing on the seat all the time time when I was younger. Okay? And you can only imagine, Dan, you gotta you gotta wipe the pee off the seat. I wonder if my dad would do this same thing to me. Also, he's only got one towel. I mean, I got two towels. So how does he not know when you smell the urine smell on a towel that that's from you know, maybe it could be from his body. He's like, man, I really stink. I gotta stop using that cologne. <laughs> you know, how come there's only one towel involved? There's a family. You know what? I have a solution. Why don't you guys just sit? We want to hear from you on this. Nine two zero four zero six one zero one one. That's nine two zero four zero six one zero one one or three one zero one one. I guess the question we're asking and this can go in a lot of different directions. But should this woman stop doing this and tell her husband that he did it? Should she just stop doing it, or should she tell the husband that she's doing it because it will finally get him to stop peeing on the seat? She should tell him. And right. say, hey, every time you do this, just to let you know I've been using your towel. Yeah. We've got some men chiming in on the text lines with some interesting um, opinions on this. We'll share those, and we want to hear hey, from boys. you next on WIXX. <laughs> it's the best one on 101 WIXX. <laughs> right, we're uh, talking about this note to Nat this morning. Quickly rehash what the note was, Natalie. So this woman, her husband pees uh, all over the toilet. <laughs> and so she's asked him to clean it up multiple times. Finally, she gave up and started using his towel to clean up his pee. <laughs> what do you think? 920-406-1011. Hello. All right, we got a male checking in. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is William from Appleton. Ah. And, you're, and you're not sitting on the toilet peeing right now, are you, as you're calling? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think, William? Um, On one hand, I think the woman is hilarious with that um, solution. On the other hand, I think it's downright disgusting because... Right. He's drying himself with a pee so 
with like pee towel <laughs> and she snuggles up against him throughout the day oh, hugging oh, him. Yes. And they're, in the the bed. The they're laying that. around in the bed and stuff on the pillows. So she's exactly. Good. So she's just spreading the pee around the house. <laughs> That's a good point, Willie. Yeah. I've never thought about that. We're getting some great texts in, by the way. A lot of men texting yeah, in. Yeah, three one zero one one on the Capital Credit Union text line. First of all, how come? How come you, Natalie? Me? Yeah. How how come the women don't pee on the seat? Uh, because uh, we sit. Not Wait, really. Doesn't how it the- all just come out at once? What are you talking what? about? What? Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering. I don't know. Why can't? Why is it just us? Well, Why? Because that's not how it Because of your works. anatomy? And oh. how you're built, I, I guess? I thought it came out differently. Sorry. Uh, no, you didn't. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I did. Uh, it says, how as an adult are you still peeing on the seat? So mature. Clean up after yourself, dude. I don't know. I, my dog's watching me the whole time. <laughs> I get nervous. This one <laughs> says, I have the best husband ever. He sits every time he pees. <laughs> Sit, boy. Sit, boy. Stay. Stay. Good hey, boy. This one's that's true. That's respectful. At least pee is sterile. Okay. Sterile and I like the taste. He is <laughs> sterile. <laughs> dodge, a- duck, dip, dive, and dodge. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, as a single guy, I just sit. If there is no urinal, why peeing in a bowl of water with backlash seems necessary? Well, it's that's a good point. Me. Yeah, why Why would you do that? That Yeah, that, that's a good point. <laughs> Throw some Cheerios in there. Guys love games. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Potty training? Yeah, a it's boy? a challenge. You didn't do that with Atlas? No. no really? He just, he I didn't know about it until after he was peeing. Came potty out of the womb peeing in the toilet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone should pee due to aging, and standing when you're 80 or 90 years old is not easy, clean, or fun. <laughs> I don't know. I need to get a new toilet seat for my. my house now. <laughs> wow. This has become like a whole nother subtopic. Like, I'd like to know poll wise. What percentage of our male listeners regularly sit down to pee if they're in a if they're in a relationship if they're in like a relationship mm-hmm. with a woman or if they're married? Well, I have a lot of friend, guy friends that sit and pee that aren't in relationships. Okay, it says Huggy isn't totally insane. Well, try to potty train, trying to potty train our daughter, and based on the angle she wants to sit and how hard she pushes, she ends up peeing on the seat. I guess Thank it is you. about the angle. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. See, it's so many people are saying that my guy sits down and pees on the toilet. I can't do it, man. If my dad walked in, in on me sitting down and <laughs> peeing on the Punch toilet. You. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get off the toilet seat and stand up like a man. Someone said <laughs> pee in the sink. That's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Please stop. No, why? why? Just oh, pee if you, in the if sink? If you don't make it, you have other places to pee, all right? Have you ever peed outside? You know, you know what's better than peeing in the sink, though, is just ripping that shower curtain back, yeah. turning around, and just going because you can't miss. Yeah. No, 100%. It's an open just, floor. Then you, well, just, then you just turn the shower on, wipe it all down. Yeah, I had Atlas do that once because I was peeing really bad, and he had to pee really bad. I'm like, yeah. just go in the shower, bud. I mean, there's, you know, noth- there's nothing more invigorating than peeing in the sink. At like a party or something. I'm <laughs> never. And then you plug it up and they, just again. because they made you so mad. I did this in Touch Me Touch You one time in Winona, Minnesota. The guitar player from this band called Cadence was upsetting my bass player. Okay, so we both went to the bathroom. And we peed in the sink and we blocked it up and then we left. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mature thing to yeah. do. Uh, 920-406-1011 If you want to get in on the conversation. Hi, WIXX. Who's this? Hey, this is Cody. Hi, Cody. Cody. Cody, what do you think? So, partly, here's what I think. So, I think that he has a right since it's been that long. However, I think that, you know, if he does keep the seat up, I feel like if you were to keep the seat up, that the guy shouldn't keep the, or put the seat back down. It's kind of like a signal as right. like, hey, I did pee you with the seat up. So, you know, oh, okay. And makes what, sense. So what? But, but you then, get a gold star? No. Like, here's here's yeah, a you take on it. Then. Here's a take on it, dude. Okay, the ladies get mad when you leave the seat up. Okay, if if they wouldn't get mad for us leaving the seat up, you know. <laughs> would okay, we, you know but what I'm also saying? sanitary wise, you should always close your whole toilet seat too. I have a dog, and sometimes I, you know, he leaves water. So I'm just saying, but if you're not, if you're gonna get mad for us leaving the seat up, if we start putting it down and peeing all over the toilet seat, it's your fault. Just Ooh, saying. See ya. Hot take, what? Huggy. Thanks, no, Cody. Appreciate the, the call. Se- if you put the toilet seat down, you sit down. No, we're not sitting down. Here's the thing. I I just went to Colorado, right? My hus my husband, <laughs> my best friend's wife. She said, just remember to put the seat down every time. And when I didn't, she would get mad because 
but you guys need to start looking because I just did it so I didn't pee on my my friend's toilet because I was getting yelled at. But now I'm also getting yelled at for leaving the seat up. Huggy, so, just because you can stand doesn't mean you should. That's what somebody texted I'm standing. <laughs> I like this one. Boys are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> points. Yes, points. <laughs> this is a great okay, debate that you guys are doing. Here's another take on this that, that's a whole nother story. We pee on the toilet and it splashes, right? Because when, you know, anytime liquid hits another yeah. form of liquid, it's going to cause some splashing. There's no and way to avoid that, right? Sometimes your guys' stream is strong. Yep. Well, yeah, and there's Thank no you. way to avoid that. <laughs> However, strong stream. Um, if women wipe it up, but it's the same for us men having to pick up all that hair from the sink or shower. <laughs> oh. Okay, different though. This isn't How bodily is fluid. Oh. This isn't bodily it's fluid. Nasty, Wait a second. Though. Do you pee in the shower and don't say no because I know you do? <laughs> No, I do. I, if you don't pee yeah, in the shower. Yeah, I've done it. Exactly. So now we have Everybody to take. Everybody has peed in the shower. If you haven't, you're lying. Now we're taking your pee hair out. Yeah. <laughs> using our hands with it. Yeah. Oh, gross, Okay, dude. you probably pee in the shower, too. I, heck yes. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumping in that shower. I don't even care. <laughs> so is it okay for women to leave blood on the toilet seat? Okay, like okay, I, I don't, no. let's I don't, not go down let's that not, path. Yeah, let's not open <laughs> no, up that women can of worms. clean up after yourself, too. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole other thing. I don't know why, but it is. I still believe that if you're going to tell us to pick up the toilet seat and just because we used to pee on it all the time and you get mad at us for not putting down the toilet seat, it cancels it out. I'm just saying. Uh, 920-406-1011. Hi, who's this? This is Katerina. Katerina, what do you think? Um, I have... Three boys and a fiance. The boys are 12, 8, and 4. And not a single one of them through potty training till now has ever peed on the toilet. So if my four year old can do it, a grown man can do it. Prove it. Send me a picture of your toilet seat now. Or you know what? <laughs> Maybe the four year old just picked up on this little trick where he takes mommy's towel off the rack. <laughs> and he's cleaning no, it out of their own bathroom. Wipes it up there, Katarina. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, thanks yep, for the call. They have their own bathroom. Oh, okay. So. Well, you, 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 okay. Then, then you're smart. Thank you for the okay. call. We appreciate right. it. Okay. All my girlies listening know this trick right now. And Huggy, you were talking about cleaning up the hair from the shower. Are you going to say what well, I think you're going to say? Obviously, the hair goes on the the wall and Gross. for the girls listening if you know you know <laughs> yes it does it does. does your wife do that Corey? there, there the has hair been hair goes on the wall because you take it out and it sticks to the wall. that's what they were doing okay and I, then sometimes you can swirl it and it's you're, so you're playing gross. in the shower Yes. Okay. They got their Who own. Who doesn't play in the They shower? got their own toys. <laughs> <laughs> I was always wondering why, because I was dating this girl in Portland. I don't know if you knew I was from there, but she. I would always get out of the shower mm -hmm. after her. And I would look at the next day when I showered and there would be like this curly red hair all over the place. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that was what they the do. Shower. There came a point in my life. This is a text coming in to 31011. About five years ago that sitting down, I couldn't pee completely. I couldn't completely empty my bladder. I'd have to stand up to finish. I'm sure there are some men who will uh, identify with this, but I always just make sure to clean up the seat. Mm. With my wife's towel. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's 756 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey are on 101 WYXX. At a union, doing the right thing. Learn more at CapitalCU.com. Stone Toad! Stone Toad! So I'm going to be doing a comedy show out in Menasha, and afterwards, we are definitely going to... Stone, stone toe, toe, stone toe, baby. stone toe, because they got the wings. Friday. <laughs> hey, hold on. They got the wings. <laughs> they got the, the burgers. They got the pizza. They got everything, and they got Dixie. Go ahead, Natalie. Um, and there's a seven-hour happy hour, so if you want to hang out before the show, you could definitely do that, plus a lunch pizza buffet lunch. Monday through Thursday. Sounds amazing. Build your own burger. Mm. Stone Toad and Menasha is where it is at, baby. Stone Toad. inspiration? <laughs> Shop, pick, and save. That's Dash's Austin on 101 WIXX. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey here at 802. And we've got $1,000 minute for your chance to win a grand in 60 seconds coming up. But we need a contestant. Yep, Stephen Reynolds here about to introduce Big Deborah. Hi. Oh. If you would like to play a $1,000 minute and win my big muffins, you can call 406 1011 and get me some chili. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Big Deborah. Now go back to the kitchen. Uh, 920 1011 if you want to play. $1,000 minute if you haven't played in 30 days. We'll play next after the Kid Leroy on IXX. You cried out of 
That's the Kid Leroy on 101 WIXX. 62 degrees, sun is shining here in Bellevue at WIXX. We've got some rain heading our way this afternoon. Highs of about 77. 60 seconds. 10 questions. It's that easy. Easy. $1,000 minute. Thanks to Colossal Toyota of Appleton. <laughs> We got Eric the Roofer in Abrams checking in today. Hi, Eric. How are you? I'm good. How about you, Eric? Show? Question, question, question. Because my dad owns a roofing company. He used to poop in cock boxes. Do you do that? No, sir. Okay. Do you sit when you pee? No. Okay. Cool. Wow. On to the game. Yes. <laughs> By the way, these, bo- these both had to you do ain't gonna have the questions today, are you, Corey? I, no. I no. Th- hopefully, I won't screw it up like yesterday. My God, we did research these answers this time. As opposed to just having my <laughs> stupid random question generator give me the wrong answer. All right, 10 seconds. Nope, 60 seconds, 10 questions. If you uh, don't know the answer, say pass. We'll skip past it, come back to it as long as time allows. If you get them all correct in 60, you win. Eric, coming down in three, two, one. Which country is the Leaning t- Tower of Pisa in? France. No. Uh, Europe. Nope. Mm-mm. Pass. What is the name of the Frosted Flakes... Tiger. Uh, Tony. Who is Seinfeld's tall, eccentric, dark-haired neighbor? Uh, I hit my tongue pass. What grocery chain is known for customers renting carts for 25 cents? All these. Who wrote the Twilight series? Pass. What city in Brazil is set to host the first NFL game in that country? St. Paul. St. Paul. What is 24 times 4? Uh, 96. The song What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish was featured in what 2023 movie? Pass. What is the oldest soft drink in America? 60 seconds. Oldest soft drink in America, Eric. You know what that is? Mom, uh, the fib. Oh, no. Close. Close. Yeah, it's Dr. Pep. DP, baby. Yeah. Uh, The song What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish, that was in the movie Barbie. Um, and I yep. was pretty, pretty disappointed because I know you're a big Twilight Meyer. series guy. Uh, <laughs> St- Stephanie Meyer. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, this one was definitely on the tip of your tongue. Kramer was Seinfeld's energetic, dark haired neighbor. Um, and yep. the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Europe is not <laughs> a country. <laughs> a country. Uh, Italy. Italy was that one. Italy. That's what it was. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Eric, thanks for playing today, man. We appreciate you listening. Have a great day on the roof. And, uh, yeah, play play again in 30 days. Okay? The roof. The roof. Right. The roof is on fire. Uh, take care, Eric. This will be on it. It's 808, $1,000 minute, uh, 605, 705, and 805 every weekday morning here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. Want to play next? Text 1000. Golf.com. You ever been injured, homies of the show? It's Huggy and Natalie, and sometimes you don't know where to go to see if you can get the money that you deserve from any type of accident. We're talking motorcycle accidents. Yes, I said motorcycle because those are technically jet skis. Uh, (laughs) Car accidents. And motorcycle accidents, not motorcycles. You got to go to Nicolay Law. Yes, they are the Midwest Motorcycle Lawyers plus Wisconsin's award winning injury lawyers. Nicolay Law has an office right here in Green Bay. If you don't know if you have a case or not, it costs absolutely nothing to find out. So talk with the experienced injury lawyers at Nicolay Law that make sure that you win and you get exactly what you deserve. Because when you need to win, you need to get the beard. Get Nicolay Law. Get Get the the beard! Get the beer! Everyone's falling heads! 101 WIXX, Morgan Wallen with Ernest and Cowgirls, uh, 816. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey waking you up on WIXX, streaming on the WIXX app. Tomorrow is a finally Friday. Mm -hmm. Which means it's green and gold Friday, baby. Yep, because we got a game out there in Brazil. I'm talking about the Packers. So I'm actually wearing a Jordan Love shirt today that I got at Walmart, so it's official. (laughs) <laughs> well, are you going to wear it again tomorrow, or do you have another green shirt? Um, I got those bibs I might wear. Do it. No oh, shirt. Oh, yeah. I need to get festive. a pair of those bibs. Yeah, you sure did. Well, you can wear them to the Con and Curls concert with me. Oh, wait. Just I kidding. can't go. <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer. So uh, we want you to dress up in your green and gold tomorrow. It's the first green and gold Friday of the season, and we have your chance to win a Packers jersey from the Packers Pro Shop and WIXX. Mm-hmm. 
Um, are they cool? Yeah, everything at the Packers Pro Shop. Yeah, is cool. all of them yeah. are cool. What is the hashtag? It's a long hashtag. It's uh, GG Friday. WI. Yeah. So all one hashtag GG Friday WI. We want to see your green and gold. Yep. Put it on Instagram. You'll be instantly qualified. You can also upload your pick through wixx.com. A lot of times people will take pictures of their kids. Mm-hmm. All uh, you know, like. Green and gold it out for Green and Gold Friday. You can do that too. It's pretty. We cool. got to get two buckets of body paint. For, yeah, well, that's uh, the Corey. thing. Okay, yes, because we need more <laughs> quarts. And how many quarts are in a gallon? You know we'll never know. Four. But, yeah, the thing is, if you automatically paint your body, no. you win. No, no. no. <laughs> and if you're talking painting my body, I think we'd have to change it to Vomit Friday. Oh, Corey, Corey, you'll you be got, covered up, yeah. so we won't vomit. Yeah, you got a hot <laughs> green dry, and gold it'll body. Like a, it'll be more like a dry heave. <laughs> 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 uh, green and Gold Friday, get the info at WIXX.com. Don't forget to wear your green and gold tomorrow. It's 818 on IXX. Four, five, things that I've got. Benson Boone, beautiful things, 821 with Huggy and Natalie and Corey on 101 WIXX. All right, moms, if you ever just wanted a break but didn't want to break the bank. Like what kind of break do you mean? Well, like a single mom swap. Now, hold on a second. Wait, what? Let me- Wait, Wait, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into it. You have piqued Huggy's interest. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go. So what I mean by that, now I posted this on my Facebook page a couple days ago and all my, because all my single mom friends are in Milwaukee and this only works with single moms. So what a single mom swap is, is you have a single mom friend, okay? And you both Pick a day out of the week where you swap days, right? So say mine is Wednesday, okay? Every Wednesday, I'm bringing Atlas to my single mom friend's house for the night for a few hours, actually. So I can run errands, go on a date, maybe, go take a class, just do have a break, go get dinner, whatever. Just some you have time, a some you time. Right. And then say their day is Monday. Then they bring their kids over to my house on Monday. I feed them dinner. They do all the things. Mom doesn't have to worry about a thing. She picks them up. Good to go. That way, you're not paying for a nanny. You're not bothering anybody else. It's just the single mom swap club, okay? Okay. I think that's a great idea. Oh, it is. It is. There should um, be like an app for that. Like, there you go. Maybe, I, need, maybe. I need to watch my children. Don't anybody... say that. Now Now there's somebody who's going to take that app. I mean, it's okay. LLC. Everybody steals my ideas. Now, can I volunteer to be one of the kids? So you... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's your parent? Yeah. I don't have a parent. I don't have a parent. <laughs> I am the kid. You're 34. What? Okay, so here's the thing. I had a whole squad of single moms when I was in Milwaukee and it wasn't even a thing like m- one of my good friends Raya she'd be like hey can so and so come over tonight I need to do this yeah come on over or hey on Thursday I need to do this can you do it and there's no expectations of like paying money or anything like that or like Venmoing for snacks or stuff it's just like yeah and it's so freeing All right. like, okay. devil's advocate here Yep. Uh, now right. what happens if you if the kid comes over the single mom has her day and then keeps bailing on you when it was your turn. Ooh, well, then she's kicked out of the club. Okay, so the, that's a one less club member. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, like, because moms, sometimes people are sketchy. Not just moms, but, you yeah. know, I've because met a it's few like, moms in my day. Because you would almost feel guilted into, let's just say you're having one of those days. Mm-hmm. And you the last thing you want, on top of watching your own kid or kids... Is watching other people's kids because you've had it up to here, and then your friend calls and says, "Hey, can I drop them off?" And you remember last week you dropped your kid off at their house, so now you're guilted into yeah. feeling like you well, have that, to. That's why you have designated days, right, for the okay. single mom swap. That's why designated days are prime. Now people are asking on the text line, "Why is it only single moms? Why can't married people do this?" Here's why: If you're a single mom, and maybe you can, you know, uh, agree with me or not, is when you have a mom friend that's married, right? She also has to ask her husband if my kid could come over. And sometimes maybe the dad doesn't want to deal with another kid for that night because he might have been stressed out working and stuff. So that's why it works best with a single mom because she's in charge. She can she's going to say yes, you know, it doesn't have to go to two other people. And you and as a single mom like I would feel like a burden bringing my son over to somebody who's like 
married because it's I don't know it's just different yeah. like I don't know how to explain there's it there's like, another if adult a, involved I yes, get it yes does the single mom have a baby daddy to watch the kid that's the thing well in my case no because he's <laughs> in a whole other state so well, that's why why don't you why... cry about it <laughs> <laughs> no we celebrate that so. <laughs> so somebody said isn't that what grandparents or family members are for which is which is right but a lot of us are on islands Islands? Right, yeah, like, like like we're far all three away. Of us, all three of us are on an island. My family is far away, and even then, like sometimes, my mom, you know, she's seventy now, so it's like it's hard for her to keep up with the six year old. And my dad, he works full time. You know what I mean? So at night, yeah. like it's harder for them if your parents work. Now, some people are just blessed with those grandparents that are always willing to take them. Whatever, I'm not, and I know a lot of single parents aren't so it just it works out having that single mom friend who does a single mom hustle that they just get it hmm. yeah all right we want to hear what your what your take is on natalie's idea here 31011 is the capital credit union text line again 31011 or 920-406-1011 feel free to give us a call here it's 826 on wixx your chance to win on wixx now back to Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. 62 right now at 8.30. And Natalie had an idea here on WIXX. Yes, it's called the single mom swap. But because of Huggy, I might have to change the word swap for something <laughs> <Yeah>. else. <laughs> got some text single coming moms. In. Whether or not it's a good idea or any thoughts on this 31011 Capital Credit Union text line. This one uh, says, of course it has to be single moms. If it's a married couple, the mom doesn't need to rely on other moms because kids' dad should take responsibility to watch the kids so mom can go run errands and whatnot. A partner is a luxury single moms don't have. That's bingo. That's what I'm talking about. That's why it only works for single moms, Mm -hmm. basically. Uh, Here's one for you, though, just in case, Natalie. Natalie, I'm a single dad, and I think we need to make each other not single anymore. (laughs) (laughs) And Natalie's response is? Blocked. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, boy. uh, 920-406-1011. Morning. So what about the single dads? Can they join the club? (laughs) <laughs> oh well, yeah. Single yeah. single dads can swap with single dads. Unless you're oh, you like mean huggy. you want to swap with single moms? Yeah, I yeah. Do that. unless you're like Huggy and you're a single dad, no kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's W I X X. The club isn't the best. Taylor Swift, I can do it with a broken heart. 838, Huggy, Natalie, and Corey here on 101 WIXX. Natalie had a good idea we were talking about with single mothers. Single mom swap, okay? And it's where moms pick a day each mom picks a day like one mom picks wednesday one one mom picks monday that's their day to bring their kids over to the other mom's house so they can have a night off or go do something right and every week you know that way you don't have to pay for a nanny Mm -hmm. it's like actually having a partner that you can rely on right right so (laughs) so we want to hear we want to hear from you if you think this is a good idea we've gotten some great texts in at 31011 this is a great uh uh, perspective. It says, what if it's a single dad, but guy friends don't usually want to watch kids or may not be comfortable doing so. That's true. Now the it? single guys, I'm not really sure how that would work. And I don't even know as a mom, like if I don't know the guy, if I'd be comfortable with a single dad. Mm-hmm. But then again, like another positive male reinforcement in my son's life is always a bonus. But still, like now let me Corey, you brought up a good point. Like, you got to be careful of who's watching your kid, too. You know, don't just jump at the first single mom or single dad that's like, I'll do it. I've been jumping so, at single moms for years. I, <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll start like a website or maybe I'll start like some sort of group or it's called Single Mom Swap. There or has something. to be a background but check. A of background some, check. Some, some you type. know what I mean? Like, you have a background check. It's, it's like the care.com, but for single parents. Here's a good one, though. We also have swaps where the single parents pick up for a carpool, and then we take their kids overnight. Oh, so like yeah, a car, the same oh thing. that's yeah. nice, too. You like know, a uh, whole night? Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. And see, I love kids. So, like, the more kids that can come to my house, the better. Like, really? Like, I love feeding them, watching them play. They can make a mess. Like, we'll go to the park. Like, because I always wanted that as a kid, and I didn't get that experience. So, like, anytime I can bring any of the kids to me, like, I love it. When all my cousins, little cousins come over, come on, let's have fun. Yeah. <laughs> this one says, Huggy, you are incorrigible. What does that mean? What does incorrigible mean? Incorrigible? Incorrigible? I don't know what that means. Hang on, let me Google it. Uh, 
not able to be corrected, improved, or reformed. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's dudes. awesome. Right. <laughs> it's at 841 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. On it. 101 WIXX. We're going to put Huggy's acting skills, his impromptu acting skills to test. We haven't done this for a while. Utter ridiculousness. Here okay, I'll give you a scenario and you have to act it out on the fly. Natalie, okay. you're the co star, okay? All right. All right, utter ridiculousness. Here's the scene. <laughs> I like how Huggy and I both have to stand up when we do this because yeah. we get so into All it. All right, this I is the nervous. first date. You are taking your first date to a movie, Huggy. And you're acting it out as a French fashion designer. Okay. A, fresh, a French fashion designer. Okay. Utter ridiculousness starts now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mon chéri, I am a fashion designer and what are you wearing? First date, that's not what you should be wearing. Wolf. What? It's, a, it's my cargo <laughs> pants. Oh, yeah, your cargo pants need to go back to cargo storage. <laughs> Why? It's it's okay, like okay. what's in right now. Okay, you're not in out there in Europe. Well, I have a crop top. Oh, nice. I see belly button. No belly button ring? Mm-mm-mm. We, we, American women are really weird out here. I got those two tickets to go see a movie because we sit there and I don't have to hear you talk. <gasps> mm-hmm. Thanks. And we're going to see Beetle Guys. Beetlejuice. That's what I said. Beetle Guys. Uh, Beetlejuice. If you're going to make fun of my pants. You need to at least say the correct No, 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 no. Those are are so last year. Jacques-Luc here. I'll I'll go buy tickets even though I already purchased them because you never know if I see another lady in line, I might have to dump you and then take her. Shocker. Check this out. (laughs) We get popcorn. We get popcorn. We get popcorn. We get popcorn. We get nachos. Mm -hmm. No, nachos. Yes, cheese. That's nacho business. I pay, I get you popcorn only, extra butter. Do I at least get a drink? No. I spit in mouth. <laughs> I spit in your mouth. <laughs> I'm lathering up my hands with butter. So when I do go hold your hand, it slips right off because I do not want to be at movie with you. <laughs> then why are we even going? My God. Us, us French people, Jacques Luc. It's because you hate Americans. I do. Americans. Oof. Jacques Luc out. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Luke is a jerk. <laughs> wow. Jacques jerk. Yeah, I was going to say that is good acting, Huggy, because you would Thank never you. act like that. No, I would not. No, that is uh, <laughs> utter ridiculousness here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. Hey, Coach LaFleur is going to be speaking with Larry mm-hmm. McCarron from the Wayne Packers Radio Net- Re- Network. As we get ready for the big Packers game coming up on Friday, we'll hear what Coach says about the game against the Eagles in Brazil before 9 o'clock. Two dummies and a... Keeps on giving. It's Natalie's Hit List on 101 WIXX. Apparently, we are dancing with convicts again, sponsored by Uptown Cheapskate Fashion Exchange, Kid to Kid, and a Swabanon. All right, so Jason Kelsey knew his connection with Kylie Kelsey was different because after their second date, he accidentally did a little toot, and he was so... So embarrassed, but <laughs> Kylie Kelsey was able to laugh it off, and he thought he said, "All right, we'll be fine. If I can, if she can laugh about it, we're good." So, fellas, if you're on that date and you give a little toot and she laughs, she's the one, baby. <laughs> Jamie Foxx will discuss his mysterious health scare that landed him in the hospital last year. The actor dropped the news on Instagram this week, promoting. One more chance, an evening with Jamie Foxx and teasing a deep dive into his health scare. This is supposed to happen sometime in early October. And finally, Dancing with the Stars just released their new lineup. However, this is a first. Uh, Anna Delvey, the Russian-born New York City social- socialite who was convicted in 2019 of swindling banks and her friends out of more of $250,000, is swapping the prison yard for the dance floor, baby. She became popular after the 2022 Netflix released the miniseries Inventing Anna. Uh, she will be dancing, though, with a ankle bracelet because <laughs> she's still on house arrest. So yep. she was in house arrest from New York City, now to L.A. It's kind of funny, that picture of her they used to promote. Yeah. You, you could see it, by the way, if you text the word dance to 31011. Yeah, she's got the ankle bracelet. She's not She's not as afraid to show that off. Right. Ah. So Dancing with the Stars is premiering next week, September 13th. And we'll see if that ankle bracelet gets in the way or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. That's Natalie's hit list sponsored by our friends at Uptown Cheapskate Fashion Exchange. Kid to Kid here on WIXX. The Packers are taking.